Hi friends, it's Monica and let's talk about what's on my September and October TBR. My plan for this TBR is honestly full of new releases but I'm also tackling some books that have been on my shelf for quite some time. But for the first book in this TBR is Bear Town by Frederick Backman. This one is an adult contemporary book and I've heard so many good things about this one and I'm very excited to see what has everyone loving this book. We're set in a town called Bear Town, and this town is surrounded by forests, but it has the saving grace, its ice hockey rink. When their junior ice hockey team is close to winning nationals, the hopes of the community is resting on the shoulders of teenage boys. However, the semi-final game will result in a girl being traumatized and a town in turmoil. So that sounds very, very good and I'm very excited to see if I like this one or not. Next up is a new release that is going to be releasing in November and this one is Bookshops and Bone Dust by Travis Baldry. This is the prequel story to Legends and Lattes, so another cozy fantasy-esque type of book. And I just recently read Legends and Lattes and I absolutely loved it. In Legends and Lattes, we're following a retired orc mercenary, Viv, and we're seeing her journey in settling down in a new city and opening up its first cafe. I would describe this book as being quite slice of life and we're reading about the everyday lives of fantastical creatures, which I very much enjoyed. For Bookshops and Bone Dust, it is a prequel following Viv back in her mercenary days and we're following her when she's injured and she's being forced to stay in a sleepy beach town while she recovers. And I think there will be a fun story there to read. I was lucky enough to get an arc, so I will be tackling this sometime in September. The next book on my TBR is another new release. It is Swordcatcher by Cassandra Clare. This is her first foray into adult fantasy. She is well known for her Mortal Instruments series, and I'm excited to see her finally write something else other than the Mortal Instruments. Mainly in Swordcatcher, I'm looking for originality and I'm looking to be surprised, but let's see if that happens. In this book, we're set in a city of Kalesling. In this city, the rich and criminals have one thing in common, is their pursuit of wealth and power. Following two main characters in this series, the first one is Cal, and he is the body double of the royal prince. And this position is known as a sword catcher, but he was also taken by the royal family when he was an orphan. And our second character is Lynn, and she has magical ability. She's a physician, and she really needs to heal her best friend Miriam. These two characters collide once there is an assassination attempt. So we have Lynn and Cal together exploring the depths of the criminal underbelly of their city. There's also some more things in this book including forbidden love, um, breaking free from servitude, and also gaining banned knowledge. So I think I will enjoy this book and I really do have high hopes for Swordcatcher. Then I chose a witchy fantasy romance for this fall which I think is like the perfect time to read this book and it is The Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches by Sangyu Mandana. We're set in Britain and we're following one of the few witches that live there, Mika Moon. Mika, she has learned to keep to herself and not really expose herself as a witch in society but she does end up posting videos about herself online pretending to be a witch and this does gain attention from some people. Then a surprise message inviting Mika to go teach at Nowhere House for three young witch girls and Mika quickly becomes entangled with their lives as well with the librarian Jamie. This one sounds very sweet and very full of hope in trying to find her place in society and maybe feeling more comfortable in her identity as a witch. So this one I'm hoping to very get that cozy, romancy type of feels. Also on my list is The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. This one has been sitting on my shelf for quite some time and I'm hopefully going to read it. This book I think is one that you either love or dislike and I wonder which category I would fall into because I think Erin Morgenstern has quite lyrical writing and that can get a little bit slow paced. 
but I'm excited about this one. In this book, there's a circus that appears randomly overnight and it's known as Le Cirque de Rêve. The circus is only open at night, but there is a lot happening behind the scenes. Two young magicians, Celia and Marco, are locked in an intense and fierce competition with each other, but I don't think they know this, is that only one may survive this, but this might be a problem for them because Celia and Marco are in love with each other. I really do hope I end up liking this one, so let's see when I read it. Okay, and another new release on my TBR is the last book in a fantasy romance trilogy, and this is A Curse for True Love by Stephanie Garber. This is the last and final book in the Once Upon a Broken Heart trilogy, and I can't wait for this one. This series does build on from the original Caraval trilogy, and we are following Evangeline Fox, who in a desperate moment strikes a deal with an immortal fate, Jax, the Prince of Hearts, but this deal entangles Evangeline into fairy tales and curses. I have to say the ending of the second book, The Ballad of Never After, was so sad and heartbreaking, and I just hope that things will get resolved. I don't know how it will be, but I'm, I have high hopes that everything will be fine. I do highly recommend that you check out this series if you're looking for something that will make you cry and it is a fantasy romance. Also check out my review of the first two books I have up and I'll link that down below and in the eye above. Last but not least, we have The Fragile Threads of Power by B.A. Schwab. This is a new trilogy set in the world of A Darker Shade of Magic, and I recently just finished my reread of the original trilogy, and I'm so excited to see how this new cast of characters will intermingle with our old cast. I really love Kel, Lila, Alucard, Rye, and Holland. If you don't know what the Shades of Magic trilogy and world is about, we're set in London but the twist is is that there are four different parallel worlds that are connected through the city of London by magic and then we have these special magicians known as Antari that can jump in between these worlds. In the new book, we have a new Antari that is appearing in White London. We also have a rebellion brewing in Red London for our king. And we have a mysterious girl, Tess, who has a unique magical ability. So I'm really curious to see how everyone will interact with each other and if the new castle characters are likable enough and all of that. Personally, I do think that this new trilogy will be amazing and I really do hope I love it. And that is my TBR for the next two months. Comment down below what you're going to be reading this month and I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below, and don't forget to ring the bell to not miss any future uploads. And I'll see you all in my next one. Bye! Thank you.